Now, a child of God, you know of an impending doom, that a doom is coming. A doom is coming. And you are silent, you are passive. You don't want to do anything. Whereas you are quite aware that the river that will sweep you into the ocean is coming. What you have to do is to do what? To re engineer yourself. And that was what saved the city of Nineveh. Jonah wondered, in 40 days' time, Nineveh will be destroyed. And after that message, the king of Nineveh convoked a solemn, uh, an assembly. And all of them, they put on sackcloth and sought the face of God. I advise this country, Nigeria, the entire world, to seek the face of God. Of course, you know, when God says, let the coronavirus stop, it will stop. Three of us. Amen. Who knows the reason why this is happening? Let me tell you, for every pestilence, some people must be saved. I say must. Even during the, leg the deluge, a family was saved. The family of Noah. So my prayer is that the children of God will be saved. Especially the radical faith believers, adorers and worshippers here. Coronavirus is not for you in the name of Jesus. Raise your right hand up. Shout, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Can you mention the names of your family members? Can you mention their names? Arabashinde. This virus will not touch any member of your family. No way. As ministers of God, we are prophesying divine security for you. Another key to avert this coach, this coronavirus, is what? Every day, anoint yourself in the morning. Before you go to bed, anoint yourself before going to bed. As you anoint yourself, reject that word, coronavirus. Numbers 1428, I will do to you what I had you say. I said something activating the power of prophecy. Anoint yourself. Number one, sensitive to the things of the spirit. Number two, anoint yourself always. In anointing yourself, reject the corona. That will be your word, your declaration or decree. I reject coronavirus. If possible, anoint your children also. Get your family members involved. At night, carry your oil again and say what? I anoint myself. I reject anything like coronavirus. Power of prophecy, activating that power. Just like Elisha. Elisha was there and Ben Hedad was claiming omnipotent. People were dying. The same way people are dying today. There was a siege in 2 Samuel chapter 6. Go there and you read what happened in the land of in the land of Israel during the time in the land of Samaria during the time that Ben Hedal besieged the city. Prophets of God were there but they didn't prophesy and people were dying. How come that the very day the very day the king demanded the head of a prophet, Elisha. Go and fetch me Elisha wherever he is. Go and fetch me that prophet called Elisha wherever he is. What to me if I fail to cut off his head? What to me if I do not cut off his head today? And when the news came to Elisha that the king is ready to kill you, Elisha said, oh, tell the king let him hold his peace. I will now prophesy. By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, our land will experience abundance. Some people doubted it because that time, they were under a siege. They couldn't go out. They couldn't import anything. They can't go out of their city because enemies were at the city gates waiting for them to come out. The source of supply was cut off. 
Communications we are cut off. Contact with the neighboring countries and all that. All other countries we are cut off. They we are in their city helpless. How come when a man of God prophesied, that siege was lifted? Get ready to prophesy. As a priest of God, I prophesy. Amen. Coronavirus will not touch you or your family members. Amen. If you believe, shout, I believe. Amen. 